Welcome back. This is the third tutorial on how to create battle maps that I've started working with my uh, Swamp Bandit Camp. Um, basically, I uh, added just a few more things. I added a fallen log here and uh, a rock, uh, as you can see, sort of buried in the water again using uh, layer masks. So now I want to add, I'm actually going to add a little bit of a structure. Um, so here I've got all these rooftops. So here is actually yeah let's add this cause it's, it's got a cool feature there um, again we want this above most of the other things Oops, still not high enough so again make sure your layers are in order um, I'm gonna resize them a bit because I don't want to back that kid because again going back to my scale you know it's about a 10 foot hut you know it's not too big of a hut we'll make it a little bit wider and we'll rearrange that and so we'll put him there so again that's uh, a little bit bright so i'm just going to adjust the color down make a little bit more grungy um, then some other cool things if you do searches for dungeon uh, especially roofs you'll find some of these um, which are fairly cool you just grab them um, go like this and just resize it and we'll put this guy going this way get them lined up with that and all of a sudden I've got a hole in my roof which is sort of cool um, that looks realistic so again just grunging things up um, so again this area seems a little plain seems a little plain there so what we're gonna now do is start going in and I want to be above my water uh, but as you can see I've got lots of layers um, so I'll just put myself above the grass uh, and I'm gonna go back to here and go to floral and start adding some things And I've got again these I got from Dungeony Google so I'm gonna add a fern or two um, so I actually want him to be above uh, those layers uh, he's still not above so probably actually what I gotta do is actually move him down there we go so there's my fern so again as you get more into this you really should be labeling over there um, now again he doesn't look like he's above it so I'm gonna put a little bit of a drop shadow there and again just uh, right there Okay, so again, when we go down, now that's a pretty big fern. That's, you know, five-foot area. I mean, ferns do get pretty big, but I don't want them that big. So I go there. So again, we'll zoom out. Uh, basically, I'll duplicate this layer because I don't want to keep adding lots of different individual ferns. Um, this one will go there. We'll twist it a little bit. Um, duplicate the layer again. I'm going to put this guy down by the rock, make him a little bit bigger. Okay, so we got some ferns. Um, now, uh, uh, what else can we add? Uh, yeah, we have some ficus plants. So again, that's probably way too big. That's like a 10-foot ficus. So again, it's hard to see him. So again, I'll just carry, drag my lay, uh, shadow over um, that I use for the fern. Um, we'll put him, you know, right there, and we'll, again, if you label these, when you make copies of them or duplicate them, obviously they keep the copies, so Mars starts making things easier to find. We can just turn him slightly, and we'll just make another copy there, put him over there, okay, and then just go through again uh, some of my plants here. Uh, oh, I like the, uh, oh, where are they, uh, cac cactail. I got a bunch of these. So I got a, you know, somebody created a whole bunch of these, um, different cattails. And so again, one of the problems with the cattails, though, is they're a little bit too bright for me. Um, so usually, again, I like to darken those up. 
okay and then also I'll probably throw the same layer settings that I put on there so again throw these guys out in the water cat tail put him down under the trees actually we'll put him over by the log okay and the other thing I actually don't think I've saved it yet but uh, when I started recently doing the swamp maps I was like I need some good lily pads and so I ran into the problem with not having good lily pads so I think this guy As you can see, these images get pretty big, and this is taking a bit to load, which is, again, why you want to label your la layers and such. Um, so you can see, you know, I have tons of layers in this, you know. And again, here's all my base starting stuff. So now the problem is, is finding my lily pads. Uh, I think I actually labeled them in here, so uh, we'll just go quickly... Um, tower, layer, I'm not finding them. So one thing I do is, okay, here's a tree, I'll move that, and so that's above those lily pads, okay. So I know the lily pads are down below. So again, okay, that's there. Here's again a tree. Okay, so again, the lily pads are still below that. Here we go. Lily copy. Okay, so there's my lily copy. So I'm actually just going to drag that or copy that. Uh, I really should have saved this out to a file at this point. Um, and I also like that below my cocktails. Okay, so we're just going to duplicate this guy a few times. Put him in different areas. Um, he looks a little bit too dark. So I am actually brighten him up a little bit. There we go. And again, just by brightening him, you know, I can now throw him over there, and he doesn't look exactly the same. Also give him, you know, a little bit of an angle, stuff like that. So, again, you'll usually want, you know, multiple lily pads. Um, you can use the same one, just uh, throwing them around in different copies of it and changing angles and stuff like that. So, again, here, we'll put this down. We'll put some lily pads around the log make one more copy and we'll put this guy over here um, so he's a, below the roots we want to get him up above um, so again what I usually do is just keep raising him until he's above there's some roots there we go so now he's above so again let's go back to my cattails um, I want a couple more of those um, I'm gonna put those a little there and if you saw, what sort of gave me the idea of cattails was my grass patches. So I've got clumps of grass, which is very similar to my cattails. Um, I, oops. Got to watch that free transform. Make sure you get it properly. Okay, he's a little bit, again, I think too bright. So again, I just like changing him down color wise and we'll grab the same shadow layer and grass patch so again duplicate him you know put him over by there duplicate you know, there and that's it uh, there's probably more stuff I could add um, a little bit more. I'm not 100% happy with the spring, so I may change that a little bit. Uh, but that's pretty much how I generate my battle maps. And this took me, what, about an hour and a half or so uh, total. So not too long. Hope you liked it, and thanks for watching.